I'm Sydney Neely and it's time for the shortcut coming up on today's show. I love spring. I love when it stays brighter later and when the flowers start to blossom, but I don't love allergies. No worries though, because I'll tell you some allergy hacks that actually work. Plus tick season is among us. Find out what you didn't know when it comes to those pesky parasites and how you can protect yourself and your pet. But first it's adopt a pet Thursday. We have Sarah Siskin from the Humane Society of Memphis and Shelby County back on. Hey, Sarah. Hello. Hey, so who do you have there with you? I have Kitty Pat, and she is an eight-year-old. Um, she's an eight-year-old cat. She is so friendly. She's beyond social. She's going to go explore my office. Um, <laughs> but she's, she, she's going to fit into just about any home. She is so social, one of the most social cats I've ever met. And she is just beyond a cuddle bug when she feels like it. <laughs> I just hear a meowing in the background, but for people yeah. that are interested in adopting Pity Pat, are they able to walk in or do they have to set an appointment online beforehand? They do have to set an appointment. So you'll call, um, you can, sorry, I'm, I'm blanking today. Um, you'll fill out our application on the website at memphishumane.org and then we'll call you about appointments. Um, we do hope to open up soon. We're just trying to be safe with the pandemic still. And right now, for people that aren't ready to make that full commitment, what other options do you guys have for people? So we have fostering opportunities, um, especially in the spring now, there's plenty of puppy and kittens that need fostering. And then we do have our volunteer opportunities as far as dog walking and, and things like that. And I hear Pity Pet in the background. She's so vocal, but going back to fostering, how can people foster pets and what all is included besides that new little furry friend? Absolutely. So anything you might need is included. We'll give you beds and food and medication if they need it. Um, you'll just reach out to our foster coordinator. His name's Matt and all of his information is on the website. Got you. And are there any other ways that people can help out, maybe donate, volunteer? Can you tell us more about that? Absolutely. Well, we're a nonprofit. We're completely funded by donations alone. So any contributions financially really help us fund our mission. Um, but we always need volunteers. We always need, need support and dog walkers and fosters to make our to make our organization run. All right. Thank you so much, Sarah and little Pity Pat for joining us on the shortcut for more information on how to adopt or to become a foster pet parent. Visit MemphisHumane.org. It's adopt a pet Thursday and I want to introduce you to our furry friends at the Humane Society of Memphis and Shelby County who are up for adoption and looking for their forever home. Take a look. First up is LaDonna. She's 10 years old and is as sweet as can be. She is blind and has high blood pressure, but don't get it twisted now. She is still living her life to the absolute fullest. Next is Kardashian. You've seen her before, but we're going to show you this beautiful girl again. She's seven years old and extremely shy. She loves to snuggle in her cat bed all day long. She will need a quiet household and a patient family, but she will come out of her shell and love you for eternity. Last but not least is two-year-old Mikey. He will definitely run the household. He is not too fond of other pets, but will focus on his own human companions. If you want to adopt one of these sweet pets and be their forever home, visit MemphisHumane.org and fill out an application online today. And if you aren't able to adopt, think about fostering a pet, volunteering, or donating to the Humane Society. Every little bit helps.